What's up everybody, this is Franco reporting for Hear Me Out. I just came back from doing a video with uh, Brooks and Dro, the founders of Hear Me Out. Make sure you check that out. We talk about Patrick Mahomes and how he is potentially the best player in the NFL right now. And one of my colleagues makes the argument that he's potentially the best player that will ever exist in the NFL. Um, well, I'm going to talk about to you guys about not something, uh, not, a, not about any breaking news or anything. I wanted to talk to you guys about the importance of using evidence. A lot of people don't realize that a lot of the things that they hold as beliefs or a lot of the things that they say about politics is just repeating things that they heard from other people and that they didn't just they didn't do the investigation themselves. So let me let me tell you guys let me give you guys um, an example of how easily you can just assume something to be true without you actually experiencing the truth yourself. I have this water here, right? I could tell you that this water is really cold. How would you know that though? How would you know that this water isn't warm? Well, let's say I have ice here in my water. It's, there's, there's no ice here right now, but let's, say, let's assume that there was ice here. Then would you believe me when, if I told you that the water is cold? You could come to that conclusion based off of past experiences that you've had in feeling ice and feeling, remembering that when you touch, touched ice that it felt cold and therefore you say, okay, Franco, I believe you, your water is cold because you have ice in there and I've experienced feeling ice before and ice is cold. But how do you know if I didn't boil this water first prior to adding the ice and now the water is still hot, but the ice is there, and it's going to melt soon, and the water is going to become warm. You have you don't know that for sure because you didn't experience it yourself. So you, this brings us to politics, and how you could hear stuff that the mainstream says, or even hear stuff that independent independent news outlets may say, and you might conclude that what they're telling you is actually fact and, and they fall in line with your prior beliefs and therefore you will take that as actual facts. Let me give you guys an example of when it's very dangerous to just accept stuff that's being told to you by news outlets. Now this is something that happened and some people still believe this to be true to this day. Um, and that is the idea that Russia and Trump somehow colluded with each other to try to win the election in 2016. How do you know that that's true? Some of you guys are not that uh, in tune with politics, but there are those that are in tune with politics and actually believe that this, this was true. There were some that would question it, some that auto automatically dismissed it from the start. For example, a lot of um, a lot of Trump supporters and Trump sycophants automatically dismissed this as like, "There's no way that can be true." Trump said it's not true, therefore it's not true. My thing is, and what a lot of other a lot of other Bernie and not all Bernie supporters, but some Bernie supporters. And some independents who don't affiliate themselves with any party will 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 tell you is that they want to look at what the evidence says. What does the evidence say? And that will I will base my conclusion off of that. So the mainstream media was telling us what what were they saying in the first place? What were they basing their claims that Trump colluded with Russia? They were saying that Russia hacked into the DNC emails with the help of Trump. Where did, okay, how do we know that Trump actually helped them out? Where's the documented evidence to suggest that? Well, they did it to the intelligence community um, led by Robert Mueller, did an investigation for two and a half years. During that investigation, 
there was some information that would come out that would be presented to us. Uh, some of that inf information was that Trump had financial dealings with Russia and opening up hotels in Russia, in Moscow. Okay, so he had some financial dealings with them in the past. How do you come... How, how does that come... How do we come to the conclusion that he worked with them to rig the elections in 2016, though? Just because he did some financial dealings with them to open up hotels in Russia, how does that... How do we come to the conclusion from that that he worked with them to rig the elections? He, he did business dealings with people in other countries. I mean, he's a businessman. And I'm here to tell you, look, I'm not a supporter of Trump. My thing is just evidence. Like, I am a... I want full-on objectivity. I don't want to attack my the people who I don't support based off of things that I can't support off of evidence. And that's a mistake a lot of people who believe this notion had is that they would call Trump a Russian asset that he colluded with Russia, but then they have no evidence to back it up or they just say something that doesn't actually connect. Oh, he did business dealings with Russia. Okay, he did business dealings with them, but how does that relate to the election? Hillary Clinton did business dealings with Russia. She sold uranium, uranium to them. Does that mean that she colluded with Russia so that so that she could rig the elections? Well, she lost. What about what if any other business person did did uh? worked with Russia. Does that mean that they're colluding with them to try to rig our government in some capacity? Then there's this notion that they were making um, fake accounts online on social media. Okay, there's evidence that there are some accounts that are based in Russia that came out, but is it a significant amount? What were they actually posting? The evidence shows that a lot of the stuff that these fake accounts were posting were ads on stuff that had absolutely nothing to do with the election. Just clickbait stuff to try to sell you products. And other other stuff that were posted were like memes of of uh, call, like calling Hillary Clinton the devil or Bernie Sanders looking all buff with a Speedo. And then the mainstream news tells us that this impacted people's decisions in the 2016 election. Okay, what is the evidence that that impacted people's decisions? As far as I know, there aren't any studies that tell us that that these memes online or clickbaits or, or that the DNC emails that were leaked influenced people's decisions. And let's assume even if it was true, let's assume that there was legitimate evidence that Russia hacked into the DNC emails and then they gave it to WikiLeaks and then leaked that information out. Is it, do you think that this is information that the American people needed to know? Like the, the what were in those emails? We, we talk about how the, the emails were, were, were leaked out, but we don't talk about the content of those emails. Now the content of those emails revealed some information about actual rigging that happened during the, the Democratic primaries between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton and how Hillary Clinton colluded with the DNC to try to rig the primaries in favor of her. Um, and you can look that information up yourself. It's WikiLeaks is there. WikiLeaks has a 100% track record on posting factual evidence. Go look that information up yourself. You don't have to believe me. You can do that investigation yourself. Otherwise, you'll just be repeating stuff that you heard from me rather than you actually experiencing that information yourself. But I can tell you from what I said, what I read, they were closing down polling places where Bernie Sanders was likely to win. They were emailing Hillary Clinton questions on the debates ahead of time. 
they were closing down polling stations early. They weren't, um, and then these polling stations where Bernie Sanders was more likely to win, um, mail-in ballots were being excluded. Debbie Wasserman Schultz had to be fired because of this. There's been people that in within the DNC themselves, such as Donna Brazil, who admitted and confessed that there was rigging happening. Other members of the Democratic Party admitted that there was rigging. But again, you can look at the evidence yourself rather than, rather than to believe confessions from these people. You can look at the evidence. Go look at WikiLeaks. Actual documented evidence. As far as Russia stuff and how they interfered with our elections, where's the evidence for that? You might say the Mueller report, which is the documented two and a half year investigation. What did that show? It concluded that there's no evidence at all that Trump colluded with Russia. And they say that they mentioned that Russia might have interfered, but they don't tell you how they interfered. And even if, even if they did, they don't tell you in what, at what capacity did that influence people's decisions. With what the DNC did, though, there's evidence to show how that impacted uh, the results of the primaries. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something that I've been hearing being repeated, which is also not being, which is also not based off of evidence. And that is, I've heard this from, I work in a biology department and I've heard people in the biology department that I work in say, isn't Tulsi, a, Tulsi Gabbard a Russian asset? And I tell them, okay, you're a scientist, right? In science, evidence is a big thing. If you don't cite your sources, if you don't provide evidence from other experimental studies that other people conducted, then you would be ridiculed, right? So where is this evidence that Tulsi Gabbard is a Russian asset? And they say, oh, I, I read somewhere. Or I heard somewhere. I heard my, my friend who keeps up with politics tell me this. Okay, so you heard from somebody. Where did they, they got their information from somewhere, right? What did that, what did they base their information from? Where did they get that information from? They, one of them told me that they did read it somewhere in like the New York Times or like they heard from MSNBC. And then I asked them, okay, did they provide evidence to show, documented evidence to suggest that Tulsi Gabbard is a Russian asset? Like, no, I just remember reading that they said that she was. Okay, so they didn't provide any documented evidence then. This is important. Otherwise, again, you're just repeating nonsensical things that aren't based off of anything. Where did this come from? MSNBC says this, the New York Times says this, but where, why, why are they saying this? If you find evidence to suggest that Tulsi is working with the Russians, it's, then then cite it down below and I'll, I'll fact check it for you. I'll verify if that source that you found is legitimate or not. The, where this came from, though, because prior to when the first comments of her being a Russian asset came out, nobody was saying that. And it all started with Hillary Clinton. She was on a podcast and she said, she implied that Tulsi Gabbard is a Russian asset. She didn't name her by name, but it was pretty obvious that she was talking about Tulsi Gabbard. And then a lot of people started repeating that. She also, um, Hillary Clinton also called Jill Stein a Russian asset. Jill Stein, the Green Party candidate from 2016. Again, where is the evidence? Did they meet? And even if they did meet, how do we know what they talked about? It's very dangerous. Imagine if that was you. Imagine if people were repeating stuff about you and calling you a traitor to this country. 
and you know for a fact because you had experienced it yourself you did not collude with anybody because one day you might be put under a situation like that don't jump to conclusions unless you look at all the evidence that exists out there now Tulsi Gabbard is suing Hillary Clinton now for defamation That is all I have for you guys today. Please remember to think critically. Be constructive, critical thinkers. Ask yourself if you've actually experienced the truth yourself. If you've actually looked, taken the time to look at legitimate information that's out there, factual evidence, rather than repeating things or ask yourself am i actually taking the time to investigate this stuff or am i just repeating things that i heard from other people thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like share subscribe have a great day